Make sure a thermal pad is attached to the underside of the heat sink. Remove the plastic protection film or films from the bottom of the heat sink. Make sure the thermal pad is fully exposed. When installing the heat sink, do not tilt or push the heat sink onto the processor. Any pressure applied to the edge of the die may result in damage and cracks to the die. For correct installation, the heat sink should be placed squarely on the four rubber pads. Note the step in the base of the heat sink. This ensures that the heat sink does not touch the socket when it is fully attached. Hold the heat sink in place and attach the clip to the first plastic tab on the socket. Confirm that the other end of the clip is aligned with the second tab on the socket. Use an appropriate tool, such as a flathead screwdriver, to attach the retention clip. Push down on the clip. Do not apply pressure to the heat sink itself. Push down and slightly away from the socket so the clip can move past the tab. Finally, push down and slightly inward to secure the clip onto the tab. Verify that the clip is fully seated on both tabs. After the heat sink is attached, plug the fan power lead into its power connector on the motherboard. Before starting your PC, verify the following. The heat sink is resting squarely on the surface of the processor and not touching the plastic socket. All film has been removed from the base of the heat sink. The retention clip is firmly attached to the tabs on both sides of the socket. And the heat sink fan is plugged into the proper connector. When the system is first powered on, the heat sink fan should turn at a rapid rate.